Today I will give you a brief idea about what is computer and network. What is computer? Computer is an electronic device which decreases the manual labor and increases the efficiency of work. Now how we can say it increases the efficiency of work as well as consistency? Suppose if a human being is given a calculation of 100 page, then the person head will be hanged or maybe after a couple of pages, they might, uh, the person might do some kind of mistake, correct. But if we do the same portion of work with the help of a calculator or a computer, it will give repeatedly same result as well as accurate laser. So that's why computer is very essential nowadays in our day-to-day -day life. As we can see in the screen, like computer has different sections, the hardware, the software, the memory and of course these sections also have some subsections. So we will go one by one. What is computer hardware? Hardware is basically the portion which we can touch with the help of the fingers that means the physical part of the computer like the monitor, the keyboard, the mouse, the processor or the speaker or the microphone, the floppy disk etc. This hardware section has three sections input device, output device, storage device as well as input output device. Now, we will talk about the input device. Now, what is an input device? The device through which we insert data to the computer to get processed is known as input device. If I type something over here, it will be displayed with the help of a monitor. Then, I am typing with the help of a keyboard. This keyboard is known as the input device. There are many more input devices like mouse, trackball, touchpad, light pen, pointing stick, scanners, microphone, joystick, etc. Joystick is very well known to people because with the help of joystick, people play games. The output device. Output device means with the help of which we can see or visualize the processed data. That means the monitor or the speaker with the help of which we can hear. I'm inserting the data. That means I'm speaking. It is recorded with the help of a microphone. Right. And when you will hear it with the help of your system, there might be a speaker with the help of which you can hear it. So, the microphone is the input device and the speaker is the output device. There are many more output devices like headphone, modem, fax, printer, etc. There is now, uh, nowadays there is also a different kind of device known as input-output device. That input-output device is basically a device with the help of which we can insert data as well as we can visualize or get output of the process data. Just like input-output scanners. With the help of we can scan it as well as we can visualize the data. The touch screen phones. We can insert the data with the help of our finger trips and we can visualize the data on the screen. Next is storage device where we actually store the data. We keep the data are known as storage device like the floppy disk, flash memory, jump device, then hard disk, CDs etc. Next section of computer are the software. What are the software? Software are the section which helps us to do any kind of work with the help of those hardwares. The software can be divided into three sections. Application software, operating system and utility software. Now, what is this application software? For a specific purpose, the specific software which we use are known as application software. Just like for this video, I am using a PowerPoint presentation. For PowerPoint presentation, I am using a specified software known as PowerPoint.
point. For photo editing, I will be using Photoshop. The purpose is photo editing and the software which I am using is Photoshop. So, for a specific purpose, the specific software which we are using are known as application software. Now, the system software or the operating system. This uh, software with the help of which our system boot up or start. Those are known as operating system or system software like Mac, Android, Windows, Linux, Sun, etc. Next is utility software. Utility softwares are those software with the help of which we can actually protect our system or we get benefited. Just like the antivirus are known as utility software, it cleans the viruses from our system. The recovery software, Pandora is one of the most famous recovery software. It is used to recover the deleted data from the system. Okay, so these are the different sections of software. Now the memory. Memories are the sections where we are splitting up it into two different sections. One is primary memory, another one is secondary memory. The primary memory is the portion which is used to process the data, uh, to use the stored data. And the secondary memory is the actual memory where we are actually storing the data or the processed data, means the photographs, videos, audios, and all. Okay. Now, I'm going to the next section that is network and networking. Now, there is a big confusion between people that what is network or what is networking? Are those things same or different? The main thing is network is the connectivity between any device, two or more devices. It can be. Like, if I am connecting uh, my desktop maybe with the help sorry if i'm connecting my desktop and a mouse that is connected with the help of a my uh, wire or bluetooth this connectivity is also a network okay maybe charger with the laptop is also a network but when a process that means data transmission is taking place with the help of that network is known as networking that means if I am inserting a data with the help of a keyboard and it is displayed in the monitor that is networking but the connectivity between the keyboard and the monitor or the processor is the network okay next I'm going to the section of a network that means i have categorized the network on the basis of size we can categorize it into four sections lan man van and pan lan is local area network man is metropolitan area network van is wide area network and pan is personalized area network or personal area network as you can see in the screen, the most important categorized network are LAN, MAN and WAN. According to the cost, LAN is very cheap, MAN is a bit higher and WAN a bigger one, means a bit more higher. The network size of LAN is very small, MAN is larger and WAN is of course, since it's a wide area network, so it has to be largest speed fast in LAN, faster in man and fast in van transmission of media are with the help of different pairs of means uh, wires which we are using is twisted pair for man we are using twisted pair and fiber optics for van fiber optics radio waves or maybe satellite transmission okay that means not necessary we need to have a wired connection we can use a wireless connection for LAN number of computer are very limited or small for LAN it can be more for MAN and maximum 
number of computers can be used for LAN. Next, if I go in details for LAN, LAN is basically the connectivity between different devices. Basically, it's a private network. That means within a building, the network which we use is known as LAN. That is local area network. Maybe printer and a computer. This connectivity also we can say as LAN. Within a building of an office or maybe a school or college, that can be considered as LAN. Clear? Here then, we can process the LAN connectivity with the help of Wi-Fi technology known as hotspot. Next, MAN. MAN is Metropolitan Area Network. As we are talking about the Metropolitan Area Network, that means it ranges within a city. When we are talking about within a city, it can be a private one or it can be a public one. But in case of LAN, it is always a private one. So let's give you an example of LAN with a private network. Metropolitan area with a private network is bank and ATM. If you do a transaction in an ATM, that means you swipe the card, you insert your PIN and you withdraw a cash. Automatically, it is updated in your bank. Right? So this is within a city, you are doing a transaction and it is updated in your bank. So that is a privatized one since you are using a password or PIN for swiping the card. Now the public one of man. Public one is local telephone code. Previously there was one rupee coin code. Anyone can enter, just drop a one rupee coin and can dial any number. Right. So anyone, any number. Right. So that's a public one. Yeah. Now van. Van means wide area network. There can be multiple lands and multiple lands. And of course, most of the time, it is a public network. And the most important or the wide range of example that we can use over here is internet. That means the internet connectivity with the help of which we can process text, image, video files, anything. Those are done with the help of internet and that is a WAN connection that is white area network. Next PAN. PAN means personal area network. Just like a cordless mic. There is a server and I am speaking. See I am speaking without using a mic. So this can be considered as personal area network. If I go means a range a long distance then the recording may be disrupted or maybe with the help of Bluetooth connection you are transferring some data or with the help of share it you are transferring some data this kind of connectivity can be considered as PAN that means personal area network next I am going to another section of network that is topology the structure of the network. It can be divided into six sections. Mesh, bus, ring, star, tree and hybrid. First, we are going to mesh topology. As you can see in the screen that four devices are there and four devices are interconnected. That is also a dedicated connection. That means point to point connection. And each device is connected to each other individually. Correct? D1 is connected to D3 with a separate wire. To D2 with a separate wire. And D4 with a separate wire. So it is totally a dedicated connection. In this kind of connection, data transfer is very secured but number of wires which we use in this kind of connection are very much. that means more number of wires are needed now suppose there are n number of device 
So how many connections we will be needing? If I consider that there are n number of device and if I uh, do it, number of input output ports are n minus 1, 4 device, n minus 1, then 3. Now, number of network n into n minus 1. That means 4 into 3, 12. Now, number of connection, 12 divided by 2. That means 6. Now, see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Six. Got it? Now there are six wires needed for this kind of connectivity. Clear? And this is the formula that for how many devices, how many number of wires we will be needing. Next is start topology. In this start topology, multiple devices are connected with the help of a central processing controller or unit that is called as hub. There is a big drawback in the system that is if the hub fails, the entire system will fail. So for that reason, this is a very important section that means the hub plays a vital role over here. With the help of this hub, we can transfer data from one device to any other device securely. But we need to remember that if the hub fails, then the entire system will fail. Okay? Now, bus topology. Bus topology is a multiple point connection. That means there will be a main station and with the help of a wire, the data are processed and multiple devices are connected over here. Now, the backbone over here is this main station. If the main station fails, the entire system will fail. One thing. Next, suppose if there is an error or a problem in any section, maybe after device 2. That means the data which is processed from the main section, it will reach device 1 and device 2. But it will not reach device 3 and 4. It's just like the concept of tap. Okay, there is a tab, there is a main chamber and a tab, just like in your schools and colleges, right? There is a main chamber and in the washroom or in the staff room, there are different taps. We open the tap and water flows with the help of same wire or uh, the pipe. It's just like the same concept, okay? The next one is the ring topology. The important words over here which we are using are unidirectional. That means if I want to send data from D1 to D3, then either I have to go through D2 or through D4. And repeaters are used for the transmission of data from D1 to D2, then again to D3. Okay? Next, tree topology. The tree topology is basically the connectivity or connection of multiple star topology. Okay, over there, there in the star topology, there were one hub and multiple devices were connected. Now, if there are more number of devices, then how to connect those devices? Then, with the help of this tree topology, we can transfer data. And we can connect multiple hubs with the help of different wires and we can adjust or we can make a server. Okay, that means with the help of one server, multiple hubs are connected. Now with the help of those multiple hubs, multiple devices will be connected for data transmission. Okay, now this is the hybrid topology. Hybrid topology is the combination of two or more topology. Okay, here I have used a ring topology and a mesh topology. And see, there is a connectivity. Okay, so combination of any two topology or more topologies are known as hybrid topology. Okay, this was all about the basic of computer and network.